Alrighty, Gen Obvious Unity tutorial video. Back with another one. This one's going to be on water, but the underwater effects that you can add when you go underneath the water. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Right now, I've got the scene, um, the world we used in our last video. I just added a skybox and a platform. And I raised the water level up a little bit so we could show you what it was like. Now right now we've got just our water plane like we had in the previous video. And I do have one underneath. But as you can see, there's no underwater effects. That's what we're going to be showing you. I'm going to show you how to do it with post-processing layer and volume. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have post-processing. Now, if you're using the Creator Companion 2019 version Unity uh, SDK 3, you're fine. You should have post-processing already installed. But if you do not, for some reason, go up to Windows, go down Package Manager, and you will do a search for post-processing. There, it's right there. Wait till this loads here and then we can do a search. Post processing. You can see that it's already installed. If it's not, click on the install button and you're all set with that in. So that's the first thing you want to do is make sure you got that. Next thing you want to do, go up to edit. Go down to project settings. Go to tags and layers. Click on layers. Down in here, you if any blank one will do. Let's go ahead and use layer 22 for post processing. So you're going to, because that's blank. So go ahead and type in post processing. And this is going to be our layer that we're going to use for post processing that will create, help us create the underwater effects. So layer 22. All right, so you can close that out then you're going to want to go to your main camera and you're going to switch the layer up here from default to post processing the one we just created layer 22 okay now we're going to add component and we're going to add a post processing layer Alright, so we tr make sure the trigger is set to your main camera, which it is. The layer, we need to switch to post-processing. And leave all that alone. So we're done with the main camera. On your VRC world, make sure your reference camera references your main camera. So we want it to choose the main camera. It has to be on that. All right. Let's go back. Now, we're done with that end. Now we've got to create a post-processing volume. That's going to hide, um, that's going to uh, create the underwater effects in this volume of area we're going to create. So the first thing you got to do is go up to Game Object and create empty and we're gonna um, call this under water volume the next thing you want to do is add component post processing volume down here you're going to click on new and it's going to create an underwater volume profile for post processing click on that Click Add Effect, Unity, and go down to um, Color Grading. Turn that on. And down here you'll check these. This is going to be the color of underneath the water. So if you want it kind of bluish, you slide your... I'm left clicking and holding it and just sliding it down. Alright, so that's 
that probably be all right. Uh, let's go ahead and add one more effect, and we're going to add uh, depth of field. Open that, and we're going to make the focal distance uh, two, and max blur size will make uh, very large. You can do large, medium, any of these. Uh, very large, it'll. You know, I usually switch between large and very large, um, so that uh, finishes off our underwater profile post-processing. All right, so let's click back on our underwater volume. We've got the color grading, and we want to switch this layer here from default to post-processing. And let's go down. We got our depth of field. Next thing we want to do is we want to add a box collider. All right, so there's our box collider, and we've got to adjust the size now. So we're just going to make it a small area, not the entire length of the ocean. But if you want to, um, you can. You just have to keep increasing your collider size. All right, so I'm going to make this kind of a little bit big. So when we jump into the water, I can show you what happens. And what you want to do is you want to get the top of this right at the edge of the water so it's really tricky really to find a happy place okay yep so we're gonna need to lower that and let's see it's right about there maybe all right so right there looks good we're right on the island um, the box is going to extend pretty far down, so that should be fine. So this area here, let's go ahead and extend it a little bit further down. Yeah, just for good measure there. All right. And then you're going to select is trigger. So now let's test this area out. And when we play it through the Cyan Emu, we'll see what happens. See if we get an underwater effect when we jump in the water. Now I've increased the, uh, the jump height in here so I can get down to the water faster. All right, so we're going to start walking into the water now. Everything's fine above. Here we go. <sighs> wow, cool. It's a little blurry. Now, we just did a blue color. You can alter it uh, in other ways, and I'll show you that. Right here on the focal distance, you could decrease that to, say, 1 or 0.5. Uh, you can play around with the armature. The the focal length and the arbiter, it's kind of going to give you that bubble look on a mask lens. Uh, max blur size, <clears throat> uh, you can play around that, leave it very large or go for medium or large. And uh, yeah, a lot of other different things you can play with. Oh, one thing you notice, if you go down to saturation and you turn it all the way down, it'll be black and white. Also. Up here is global. Check that. And now the entire world is black and white, not just this volume. If you want just the volume to turn black and white, then it'll go in here or whatever effect you have. So just a little side note, that's a that black and white's really good for like a classic TV series uh, world. But anyway, I mean learned a lot in the last week about underwater and water effects and how to do stuff with water. So I uh, look forward to showing those to you. Um, see you guys. Take care.